Praise the Lord. Uh, now we are going to listen to the word of God. A very brief one. So find a place to sit. Because it's not going to be long. If you miss it, you miss it. So sit down and pay attention. God is going to speak to us. This is finance chairman, Elder Godfrey Buama. As he's coming, we should give a clap offering to God. We give you glory, Lord. As we are you. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. As we are you. Oh, you are wonderful. For such a wonderful day. Today is 25th of December. I hope we all know. And today is also Sunday. Hallelujah. And this is the day that God has made. Hallelujah. The message that God has placed on my heart to share is entitled Jesus, the gift of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, the gift of God. Because of time, I like my big sister and my beautiful sister to read some scriptures so that after the scriptures we zoom in into what God has laid on our hearts. So my big sister, Dickness, Mariam will read John 3.16, which I believe you all know, and Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, after which uh, my sister Sandra will read Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. Hallelujah. To us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Now, oh, yes, Bethlehem, my appointed, or he had a person, she and your sub four be free, a prayer by a missile and beside, sir. And he now you da four, he near a wow no no war. Now, your hoon and so my war a prayer. Now, your ba a becotson. Now, he had already say, you know, or near a missile and four, you now a comma tree. Now, she are a man, no moon penny, four nay, a trap for you now beside on far qua or bell crystal no. Now, I'll catch her and say, Bethlehem, I a word you dear. Now, Sana, a deep for no atrocity. say. Now, who Bethlehem, you da as a sister? Who near you da as a for him, a kuma, if we say, Umuna as a for him, or better me, my Israel, soon be free abba. And I herald the friend, and some for no cook, when be sour, and bra, bra, kuma, and so many free ye, ye, no, ye. I fear or smart Bethlehem, sir. Mon quite unquashed above friendly ye. Say Munya Huna, Mumma can't tremble. 
na me nso me nkwa kutu ni bi na otie o hina asem ni wiye no osi mu koi na hwe enso ma o hunu no apoye no di o na nima di wo nko ko jina afa ko a abofra no wo etifi na o hunu nsuno ma no wo na niji kese pa na oko dan ni mu na oko hunu abofra no ni ni na maria na oko to sore no na obue wo mfuto mu ye no aye sika kokko ni ohwamfufuo ni krobo na wo yi chire wo ndaye mu se onsa ne nko herodi hobie ofa okwanfufuo bi so sane kɔ wo nkro mu amen praise the lord today is christmas day and today is a day the world has set apart to celebrate the birth and life of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But God says that for God so loved the world. God so loved the world. It is a gift of mankind. A gift of humanity. Because of man's deprived nature, there was a need for God to send his only son so that man will not be consumed by sin. Hallelujah. But due to the fact that God loved the world, the Bible says that he gave his only begotten son. As we read in Isaiah, Isaiah also says that a son is given freely and willingly as a gift unto man. But whoever believed in this son, whoever values this son, whoever draws near to this son will be redeemed from his sins. Because don't forget that for God so loved the world and he gave his son because he knew that man is deprived. He's been consumed in sin. Hallelujah. So the son of man, the son of man was delivered so that you and I will be redeemed from our sins. Hallelujah. I just want us to understand that a gift, as we all do, I believe that about 99% of us this very day are going to give a gift one way or the other to somebody that we love. Hallelujah. And once we prepare to give the gift I believe that there are two things that we think about. There are two things that run through our minds. As you are about to give a gift, you perceive, you consider what sort of gift am I giving to this dear one of mine. You want that gift to be something precious in the life of whoever you are about to give that gift to. And therefore, you consider the value that whoever you are about to give the gift to more than yourself. Hallelujah. This very day, yesterday, last night, um, my wife doesn't like me using her as example. But I gave her a gift. And then I told her that this gift I'm giving you, knowing how her heart is, I knew that she was going to pass on this gift. Not all of them, but some, some of the gifts I've given her as my Christmas present to somebody that she's also thinking. And I told her that this gift is entirely yours. I will not be happy if you pass this gift on. Because I have premeditated what I think that this gift will be due for her. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Therefore, God knew the gift that he's given unto you. Hallelujah. And therefore, Christmas is not a time that we um, put lights about. It's not a time that we, we, we praise um, for that Christmas. But it's a time for us to reflect on this gift that has been given unto us. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a time for us to reflect deeply. What are you using this gift for? What are you using gifts for? And that is why the wise men, I'm happy that God, the Bible used the wise men. When they saw the star, when they saw the star, they were wise enough to go searching for this son, for this king. Hallelujah. And therefore, they found their way in the palace of, um, of Herod. And then they went and accounted for the reason for their presence in the land. And King Herod became afraid. He became scared. And therefore, he devised a means. Hallelujah. He devised a means to quench this gift. That gift that is for you. He devised a means to quench it. It is my prayer that tonight somebody will be wise. Hallelujah. It's my prayer that somebody will be wise enough to know how to search for this gift. I don't know how you are searching for this gift. I don't know how you be saying that whoever draws closer to this son will be redeemed. Hallelujah. Amen. And as the story goes, that they went in search for this um, um, king. 
and then they gave an account of who this king was going to be. And therefore, King Herod also devised a means that, okay, go, go. If you find this son, if you find this king, come and tell me. If you find this king, come and tell me. And they went again. And as they saw the star, the star led them to our Savior. Praise the Lord. And after they found our Savior, the Bible says that they bowed down and they worshipped him. Hallelujah. And it is my prayer that when you find your Savior, as we are here, you will bow down and you worship your king. Hallelujah. And therefore, when they also got that, they were wise enough. They were wise enough and they presented gift unto him. They presented gift of value. Gift precious. I don't know what gift that you have here for your Savior. A man that came, departed everything that he had. He came out of himself to die for you and I. Sometimes you, need, you ought to be wise enough. You ought to be wise and to prepare something precious. The Bible says that they brought gold, mare, and frankincense. What sort of gift are you bringing unto God? What sort of gift are you bringing unto God? And also the other part of that is that after they had worshipped him, they also decided to protect this gift. They also decided to protect it. Sometimes do not be allowed to be used by the devil to, 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 to quench or to distinguish a gift that God has given you. Do not be a part or a company. When, the, when King Herod had told them that, go, when you find this um, king, come and tell me so that I will also go. But what, what did the Bible say? That they, after they had done what they had um, purported to come after that, they found their way back to their own land. Hallelujah. May we celebrate the life of our Savior. But may we also be wise enough to, to be able to protect this gift. This gift that has been given to you and I. If not for this gift, you would have been consumed by the evil one. If not for this gift, the evil one would have been trumpeting upon you. But here you are. Standing tall. The words of your mouth is able, is able enough to let the devil shiver. If only you value this gift. If only you understand. Because in the mind of God, he purported, he knew why he's giving this gift unto you. But sometimes we belittle the gift that God has given unto us. Don't forget that it was for a reason. It was for a purpose. The gift that you're giving your child this very day, I don't think that you just went out into town and you bought this gift, but you premeditated, planned. And therefore, you know, this is a gift I'm giving unto my son. So it is that God has given you this gift on this very day. Amen. On this very day. What are, you giving, what are you using this gift? Jesus Christ is the gift of the world. I wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Amen. Shall we be standing? Oh, Mubra Maya. Koto no mubra maye koto oyae Christ. When the wise men found him, Bible said they worship him. Mubra maye koto.
the king from your heart. Present the king from your heart to him. Present the king to him. When the wise men find him, they bow before him. They worship him. Over the word that we just received. We bless you. Jesus is the gift for the whole world. And there is one purpose for that gift. That he will, rec he will reconcile man unto his father. There is one purpose for that gift. That he want to reign in the heart of men. There is one gift. There is one purpose for that gift. That will become the child of God. Yes. Please, it's remain us, please. I want you to give one gift to him. That is your heart. If your heart love him, you will protect him. Herod want to destroy that gift. But the wise men perceived that and they went their way. They didn't return back to him. Meaning they value the gift. They protect the gift. Want you to invite that gift into your heart. Give him the way. Let him rule in your heart. If from January to this hour he has not assumed full control of your heart. It means you are not value him as a precious gift. So this morning I want you to reflect. Take account of your life. And see if really this gift is indeed in your heart. As you sing this song with me. Oh, to Jesus I surrender to him I freely give. Him. Accept in your heart. Begin 
to pray. I ask Jesus to come and take full control of your life. I surrender before you, oh God. Long take absolute control of my life. Have your own way in my life, oh God. Let your will be done. Pray in me. Pray in me. For your will says, oh God. You stand at the knock of my door. Knocking if I will have. You come in and come with me. You are knocking the heart of my heart. That I should open. I open unto you, Lord. I'm a devil control my life. In the name of Jesus. Have your own way in me. Kasuko Tabaya Delimi. Logo Kotabaya Delimi. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, something new. Lord, we want to thank you. 
We want to bless your holy name. Such a gift that, Lord, you have granted to the world. For so the Lord loved the world and gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. It is through your son Jesus that we have come to the saving knowledge of you, God. What a gift to the world. Father, we want to thank you. Your gift has brought us salvation. Your gift has brought us redemption. Your gift has brought us reconciliation. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. On this occasion, Lord, even as we celebrate this gift, we pray, oh God, and even as this gift brought good news to all mankind, Lord, may we be people that will be beneficiaries of this good news. May our families receive this good news. We bless you. Let none of us, even as we have received this gift, let us value this gift in our hearts. Let us walk with this gift. Let us stay in this gift. And as we do so, all the promises that this gift comes with shall be our portion. We thank you and bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.